What's up guys, this is Pamela Gagnon from Performance Plus Programming. So today we're gonna go over how to get a strict bar muscle up. This is one of my favorite skills, it's super badass, and even at age 47, it can be achieved. So let's go over five of my favorite drills. The first drill is going to be a weighted uh, chest to bar pull up. But what I wanna talk about is the positioning we really would like at the top of that chest to bar pull up. So. And when we pull down, we have to be able to pull low so we can transition. But what I don't want to see is the rib out too much because it makes the elbows drop down and the transition a little bit harder. So we're going to try and pull into a hollow and that will bring our elbows a little bit higher. So we have to transition about a quarter of the way instead of the full way. So start with a light dumbbell. You can use a weighted vest. I'm going to squeeze, I'm going to put, get an over grip to make sure I can pull well, and I'm going to stay in hollow, and I'm going to pull through that top position in hollow. Obviously, the lower you pull, the easier the strict bar muscle up will be. But if you don't have the pulling strength, then it will be an impossible skill. All right, guys, drill number two, definitely one of my favorite for all muscle up work which includes ring muscle ups as well too, and that's gonna be the Russian push-up. What does the Russian push-up help you do? One, keep your core engaged, your whole body tight, and it allows you to learn how to fast transition from the pull to the press. So we're gonna get down on the ground on our elbows. We wanna make a 90 degree angle, stack our shoulders over our elbow, hands are spread, we're going to get that hollow body position. I'm gonna drive my shoulders forward over my hands, and then I'm gonna stay in the tension position before I press up. What I don't wanna see is you drop because I want full tension throughout the whole position. So that will help you guys figure out how to get those elbows fast from that pull into press. It builds a lot of muscle memory as well. Drill number three is a seated banded pull down. This drill, you can build a lot of strength if you use a thick band, but right now I'm just building a little bit of muscle memory. So I'm gonna get a band, I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna pull down as low as I can go to my hip, and then I'm gonna press. Then I'm gonna release and come back down. Notice my grip is more of an over grip instead of my wrist being in a more of an extension. We want more of a flexion. So again, we're gonna pull into hollow as low as we can go and press down, which will be that transition period of the strict bar muscle up, and then I'm gonna come back and repeat. So once again, use a thicker band to build the strength. You can start with a thinner band to build that muscle memory. All right, drill number four is all about that grip strength. So remember we talked about hanging a little bit more in flexion. I don't think you need a complete false grip to do a strict bar muscle up, but you do need to engage those forearms and get a little bit of that over grip so you can go from pull to press much easier. So grab a lacrosse ball, tennis ball, whatever you have. You're gonna grab it and we're gonna hang with one hand over um, on the bar and then the tennis ball or lacrosse ball over the bar. And we're gonna build st grip strength by squeezing the lacrosse ball and hanging, start a, a, low, you know, a low number, maybe 10 seconds per side and then you will build up some endurance. Drill number five is definitely the most difficult of the drills so far. It will require you guys some body and spatial awareness as well as some strict strength. But it's working the eccentric portion of the strict bar muscle up, which is so important to learn how to control through that transition and build strength through that transition. Here's what I, how I like to teach it. I like to do a pullover into the support position because we're working on pulling strength and just honestly body awareness, which is important for all gymnastics and body weight skills. So I'm gonna pull up and then I'm gonna pull my toes around the bar, keeping my eyesight on my toes. Now that I'm in top of support position, I'm going to do a slow negative. The key to success is when you get to this 
position here. I keep my wrist in flexion so I can hold that transition through the through control. So if I find that I'm dropping, look at your wrist position and reevaluate if you have enough control through the wrists and forearms to control your body as it goes through the negative. All right, guys, if you love these drills and you want some more help with getting your first strict bar muscle up or getting a better strict bar muscle up, check out our five-week performance plus strict bar muscle up program.